am santosh gaidankar today i am doing the measurement of a taper by using science center this is the science center we have to measure the taper taper of this specimen a cylindrical conical shape specimen by using the science center this is the science science center with the using the slip gauges these are the standard slip gauges okay first you have to remove this one remove the conical face measure the larger diameter this is the larger diameter the diam larger diameter is around 23.50 I will write it out here. Larger diameter. Larger diameter is nothing but 23.50 mm. Similarly, I will go for measuring the smaller diameter. Smaller diameter. Smaller diameter has to be measured near this collar. Okay, this is the smaller diameter. If you measure the diam smaller diameter, it will be around. Small diameter is twenty point twenty point four zero mm. Okay, twenty point four zero mm. It is twenty point four zero mm. Smaller diameter is twenty point four zero mm. Now length. You have to measure the length from this part to this part. Measure it properly. Now which it is sixty nine point. Four two. The length is. I will consider small l is sixty nine point four two mm. There is a formula for finding the taperness of this specimen. I will find out. There is a formula. Tan alpha is equal to d by d divided by two l. What is capital D? Twenty three point five zero minus twenty point Point four zero divided by two into sixty nine point four two. If you calculate and tan inverse, the alpha will be what? The alpha will be around. Uh, if you calculate, it will be around one point three. One point three zero something. It will comes. I have to make a tan inverse. Okay, you have to make a tan inverse. That means tan. Sorry, alpha is equal to tan inverse. Into d by d divided by two l, you will get around alpha is equal to one point three zero. As per the trigonometric function, this alpha is equal to theta. What is theta? Sine theta is nothing but h by l. Now, what is theta in in the place of alpha? You have to write sine is equal to one point three zero, and this l is nothing but two hundred. How this two hundred is obtained? This is a. This is nothing but distance between these two rollers. We call as a. If you measure the distance between these two rollers, is two hundred. Therefore, the capital is nothing but two hundred. And the h h is nothing but the stake of the slip gauges. We have to find out two hundred. If you cross multiply sine into one point three zero into two hundred, the h will be what? The h will be. Um, the h will be around four point four point five three mm. The why the alpha is nothing but equal to theta is nothing but this when I measure this angle I will get the angle alpha here. This lift I will get. A theoretical lift I will get approximate by using that theoretical lift I am going to calculate the um, h value. By trial, trial and error method. Okay, first, first. Now, I will go for built-in phenomena for this one. Four point five three. I will make three as a zero. Zero point one three. I will see whether it is available. Okay, it is available. Zero, five as it is. Three as it is. Three point five is there. Okay, three point five is there. I will make it. Zero zero. The combination for this one is one point zero three plus three point five zero. 
is nothing but 4.53 make the combination 3 point and this is uh, 1.03 and this is 3.5 I will go for ringing phenomena I will go for ringing phenomena ah, before doing before going for ringing phenomena you have to place this specimen the respective place okay it should be properly aligned it should be properly aligned a little bit tighter you have to place it here now to the smaller end you have to place this sprig uh, sorry uh, slip gauges you have to place to the smaller end the slip gauges you have to place it now with the help of a dial indicator you have to move over the this conical face place the dial indicator you both this one in such a way that it should be exactly 90 degree then I will fix the dial indicator I will bring the camera to the bottom so that it can be visible I will make this dial indicator to the zero here. I made it to the zero here. I made the dial indicator is exactly zero here. Zero. You can see that. Then I will move over this surface. I will make it a zero. Sorry. Make it a zero here. Then I will move over the surface. As it move. As I, as I am moving this uh, dial indicator over the surface, there is a small deflection occurs. You would get a small deflection up. This is up to uh, 10, 20, 30. 30 into least count, least count is 0 0.01. The dial indicator least count is 0 0.01. You can add or subtract and go for dial add or subtract and go for n number of trials on three or four trials you will get the exactly and deflection will be zero till the dial indicator has to indicate zero this is the procedure which has to be followed for the science center i am, I am santosh gadankar thank you very much